What up everybody, it's the Tech Playoffs, and we back with another video. Right here is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Uh, I upgraded from my 5 Pro to the 6 Classic. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying it's not an upgrade because uh, you don't have a 6 Pro. It goes from a 5 Pro to a 6 Classic, which there are some downgrades to be honest, but everyone has different opinions. There's technology for everyone. And for me, at least in my opinion, this is an upgrade. Um, right off the bat, this is a timepiece right here. The 5 Pro, uh, in terms of look, is more towards the outdoorsy, uh, fitness person. Uh, that's just how they, they, they gave that watch the design. That's what it's for, to be honest, at least for me. Um, for this, this style with the rotating crown, this is a timepiece right here. This is a watch. This is something you can put on with a suit uh, or everyday clothes. And it doesn't look like a smartwatch right off the bat when you look at it. It's very clean, flashy, stainless steel. You have uh, the sensors in the back, temperature sensor right here, uh, two side buttons. And the biggest thing was the rotating bezel. Uh, so this was back on the 4 Classic. That's the last time that Samsung released this rotating bezel uh, on the housing. Then they skipped it on the 5. The 5 was just regular 5 and then 5 Pro. They brought it back on the 6, which for a lot of people, I'm sure they were excited, uh, uh, like myself. And I love it. This is, like I said, a timepiece as well as a fitness device. In terms of an upgrade for me, I think it is because, like I said, the design, it looks better. You get that rotating bezel. You have a bigger display, slightly bigger. Uh, smaller battery, but still, I get about a day and a half i can probably push it to two days uh depending on how i use it uh let's see right now i took it off the charger last night before i went to bed so that was like around eight o'clock it is the next day at uh, about 3 15 and then if we check the battery i'm still at 55 percent and i passed it it should tell you about how long you have left so it's still learning my pattern so it's not going to give me days left over but with 55% left, and I'm like I said, I charged this yesterday before I went to bed. I uh, took it off. I slept with it, so I did my sleep tracking. It'll show you here. I didn't sleep that well last night. Only 5 hours and 44 minutes. Uh, I did my work. I, I worked out today. I went to work all day for 8 hours, came back home, and I'm still at 55%. So I use this for receiving notifications, responding to my notifications, um, and working out so this records my fitness as well as my sleep for me at least that's amazing I'll, as long as i can get through a full day without having uh battery anxiety and i'm talking about sleep tracking working out coming home use it the whole day and then put it on the charger before i go to bed that's all i need and i still have charge left over when i put it on the charger when i charge this i'm still at 40 something percent 50 percent some days even more so I can probably push it to full, uh, a full two days, but I always charge it at night just to have that peace of mind that I can get through the whole day without having any issues. Um, as you can see, this is not one of the bands that comes with this watch. This is a Samsung band, but this came out with the previous generations. So this has the old style uh, pin on one side that you just pull and then remove it. Uh, the new ones, I do have a new one. And they changed over to this design. So when you press it, it compresses both pins on both sides. That way you can attach it on there. I like this style. This is actually the same one. This is a Samsung hybrid leather slash silicone band. So the inner side is silicone. The outside is leather. And to be honest, man, it looks so clean when you have this on. It looks like a classy watch. So I have it in the white this is the one that it came with on the watch. I bought the red. This you can get on Amazon for around 50, 60 bucks on Amazon or Best Buy that they still sell it. And this is in a, a Samsung band. This is not a third party band. So, so this one's sturdy. It feels great. And it just looks amazing altogether. So same band, just white. I also have it in brown. So, you know, if I got some of my brown boots on or I want to go with a suit on somewhere classy, I'll throw the brown one on. And it still looks good. Like I said, still has the old pins of the previous uh, generation. But it's still a great band. 
I have the brown. And then if I want to go with a more lighter color, I have a blue silicone. This one I got on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And this was a great watch too. A uh, great watch band. It feels good. It's light. And uh, it just fits very well. This one I also picked up. This is an aftermarket to the uh, buckle band that Samsung releases. So they last generation, they came out with these bands on their, on their watches. It magnetizes. So when you put it on, you could just snap it on and it, mag it magnetizes around your wrist. It actually, it's, it's a pretty strong magnet. Um, and I'm saying that because this is a third party one. Samsung does not make a red one. They had other colors, but not red. So you still have this buckle right here, which is like kind of metal. And then the magnets come together and they locks it in place. And it's very strong. If you pull it apart, it's kind of hard. You kind of got to lift it from the, from the magnet area. This is a silicone band. Um, so it's a different color in terms of the red. It's a more brighter, vibrant red. And this is more of a toned down, like a blood red. Uh, and of course, it's a material. This is rubber and this is, I mean, silicone and leather. But... I just like the, the quality of the Samsung bands. These three right here, I mean, I think they had other colors, if I'm not mistaken. But these bands, if, if I find them in different colors, I buy them right away because they're stunning in terms of quality and just the way they look on the watch. So, amazing experience so far. Uh, battery life has been great. The speed of this watch, in terms of the previous generation, this has a 0.5 gigabyte more of RAM uh, than the previous one. The other one had 1.5. This is a, a full 2 gigabyte. It just makes a whole lot of difference in terms of fluidity, opening apps, um, multitasking, going from the workout app to the music app, not having to reopen the whole thing. When you click something, it opens up right away. Scrolling through it is super smooth. Uh, I haven't noticed any lag like I did on my Watch 5 Pro. And I know it's just slightly more RAM than the previous version, but it, trust me, it does make a difference. Um, so, like I said, in terms of everyday use, you're going to notice, notice that the performance is better. The battery life is still strong and still amazing for a watch of this size. Um, and just the style of it, man. This thing looks amazing. The speaker is great as well. I use it for uh, Google Assistant or taking quick phone calls. Um, uh, people hear me great and I hear the people great. So no issues with using this as a phone just for a little bit. Of course, I wouldn't have a full conversation on it. These are just for quick phone calls when I don't have my phone in arm's reach. And I'm just saying, like, if you're thinking about doing it, I would do it. I did it from my 5 Pro to the 6 Classic. I know this is not advertised as a pro watch, but it's pro in my eyes because the style, the battery life, the performance, the way it just it looks on the wrist, it just, just like I'm saying, this is a timepiece. And I, this also comes in black, but for me, the silver just makes it pop more. Uh, when you put the white band on and you have that silver housing around it, it just looks so clean. Even the blue one, if you put a blue on it and then change the watch face to blue, it just looks so clean. So I like that this watch gives you a lot of options in terms of customize, customizable. It's, it, you can change the, the watch face, uh, the widgets, the color. Uh, you could have animated watch faces. I mean, in my opinion, this is the best Android smartwatch. And I say that because I've used the Pixel. I've used Fossil. I've used um, all the old ones that came out. Tick Watch. I've had them all. And to my opinion... This is the best in terms of an overall package, style, battery, performance. Uh, you can wear this all day with no issues and get um, compliments. Uh, like, man, that, that's a nice watch. People have no idea it's a smartwatch until they see the face lit up. It is amazing uh, how many compliments I've got on this watch. So, like I said, combining this with a great band set, I mean... It is hundreds of customizable possibilities you can do on this watch. A whole bunch of bands. Uh, you can use six generation bands, five generation bands, four generation bands. Uh, online, when you buy bands, especially on Amazon, it does give you a compatibility chart. And it goes all the way back, I think, to one of the watch threes that Samsung released. So the bands fit on all. And I believe these are 20 millimeter watch bands. 
I know it said it on one of them. Yeah, 20 millimeter watch bands. So any 20 millimeter watch band with a compatible pin buckle like these will work on this watch. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update. It has been amazing so far. I'm going to continue using this as my primary watch. I don't see me changing anytime soon. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave a comment down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But amazing timepiece. If you're looking to upgrade, even from the 4 Classic, even the 5, I'm telling you, it's an upgrade. So you won't be disappointed. As always, guys, thank you for watching my videos and have a blessed day. Peace.